As you might have guessed, real estate in Los Angeles is very pricey. So Orange County is one of the areas people go outside of LA when they want to buy something and get a little bit more for their money. Although there are cities within Orange County, they're nothing like Los Angeles or nothing like the size of that. And they're a lot more suburban. So Orange County directly borders LA, but it's so big that you could live in Orange County and still live 40 or 50 miles really away from LA. House number one is right below a million dollars. It's $950,000. And this one is pretty spacious of the houses that you're gonna see today, but it is a little outdated. So this one walking in, it had a big living room and it had a nice kitchen. I really did like the kitchen. It had a lot of windows, it felt bright. Unfortunately, I didn't get a video shot of the master bedroom, but it was just your normal sized master bedroom. There was a bathroom that had two sinks, a nice shower, pretty big, but it wasn't anything insane or stand out. There was a walk-in closet, but honestly, if two people were living in that master bedroom, that closet would fill up pretty quick. So downstairs was just pretty much the living area, kitchen and master bedroom. Then upstairs, you had three more bedrooms and kind of a bonus room, family room area, which was cool because it was a loft. So this upstairs is kind of cool how it's a loft up here. We've got a lot of windows. This house has a lot of bedrooms. But like a million dollars? This is space. Yeah, because it, it is like pretty big. Overall, this house was at 2,200 square feet. So I still feel like that's not a lot for a million dollars, especially seeing as we're in a suburb. If you went to a suburb of Seattle, a million dollars would get you like twice that. But keep in mind, we're 50 miles away from LA. Watch the next one and you'll be like, what? <laughs> So house number two was actually quite a bit below a million, but I wanted to include this one anyway. It was right around 750,000. And this one had three bedrooms. This third bedroom you'll see just. So walking in, it was pretty open. They had just basically living area and kitchen. And that's kind of it. It's a one story house and it has two actual bedrooms. So a master bedroom that was just kind of a normal sized bedroom and then another bedroom, again, normal sized. And then a third bedroom with an unfinished wall. There is a sign up that said it was $2,400 more to finish that wall and make it a bedroom. But honestly, then you're losing a lot of living space. Felt like the size of an apartment. I mean, it was $750,000 for a thousand square feet. That's smaller than this place that I'm in right now. I also, along with that, didn't think that it was, you know, top of the line design or anything like that. It was kind of also a little bit outdated, but it did have in the bathrooms those wooden cabinets that you see a lot of times in houses that were built in the 90s. So $750,000, this just seems like you're getting so little, but then when you compare that to what you get in LA, that's like one bedroom sometimes, kind of crazy. House number three, I thought was pretty good. Walking in, it's very open, very high vaulted ceilings. And then going to the right, there was another little family area and a kitchen off to the right. The kitchen was a little hidden, kind of weird how it was hidden like that, but it was a good sized kitchen. I didn't really like the colors of it. It's just me personally, that's just my taste. Going upstairs were all three of the bedrooms. You can kind of tell that this house is a little bit older. It was built in 1989 and you can tell not necessarily in such a bad way, but it just doesn't feel like a brand new house. The master bedroom was pretty big. It actually had really high ceilings and this kind of awkward shelf that was cool, but just very random. Again, the style was like a little bit outdated. They had some built-in features that were kind of cool if you like the style of them because it feels very custom. The two other bedrooms were decent sized. This one also actually had kind of a backyard. No grass or anything, but the other ones had literally like a small patio and this one actually had some space. It was at 1800 square feet and I like this one better than that one that was 940,000 square feet. I just, something about it just feels a little bigger and nicer and more open. 
This last one was my personal favorite. This one was a million fifty thousand. So a little more expensive than the other ones, but still around a million dollars. So this house was a little bit older, but they just renovated it. So the style is very current. Walking in, you see the floors are very common to a rental that you would see in LA this sort of light colored wood. I think it looks really good. It makes it feel bright and open. The kitchen also had that kind of bright open feel. There was this very pretty flowers outside. It had what looked like quartz countertops and nice new white cabinets. There was one bedroom on the main floor and then three bedrooms upstairs. All the bedrooms were very bright open. There was also an office on the main floor that had a skylight in it so it felt really bright and just had this really pretty natural light to it. below which one was your favorite though. Also comment down below where else you would like to see this kind of video at. I'm thinking of doing one Texas versus LA because that difference is going to be insane. Orange County is definitely a desirable place to live. That's where I moved when I very first moved to Southern California. I really wanted to move to LA but it was just so expensive and at the time for what I could afford I would be like sharing a room in a really awful place in a inconvenient area. So I decided to live in Orange County for a year and it was really nice. I paid $800 a month and I shared a room, but the complex was really nice and it was a convenient area. It's just a little bit more boring. It's just more suburban, so if you're younger, you probably won't really wanna move here, but who knows, you still might like it. All right, that is it for this video. Make sure you guys subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.